Hello, namaskar, good evening. It's 6.30 p.m. now. It's about the 11th of uh, May. 11th of June, 2023. We're slowly going towards the International Day of Yoga. Here in Guyana, they do celebrate the Yoga Day. It's on a small scale though. We don't have like various organizations or various centers absorbing or creating events. It's usually done mostly by the Indian Swami Vivekananda Culture Center, Indian High Commission, they organize something. But um, this yoga day was actually forged between Indian politicians and the um, United Nations, you know, because of the contribution that yoga has been giving to society, to humanity over the millenniums centuries and thousands of years history recorded where teachers have been traveling throughout the Asian continent, Europe traveling throughout the world, teaching, planting the seeds of knowledge, rejuvenation, energy, health, and so on. Actually, this kind of way of life gives you an awareness of, um, we should say, awareness of life imbibing habits and good and positive um, avenues to making your life better, progressive, healthy, influential and so on. The thing is that one of the side effects of this event is that it gives respect to students who are practicing yoga, especially in places out of Asia and Europe people doing yoga are not so much healed or appreciated, you know. They kind of, people kind of see you as a lunatic, as a crazy, as a deviant, as a dropout, and so on. So, um, doing yoga in a Western society, like in a government job or the private sector, you know, you're not following the crowd, you're not the young people lifestyle you know you're kind of out of that group out of that um clique you know and seeing health seeing um life impulse good and positive energy coming out of yoga student you find that the average everyday people sometimes wonder where they get the energy, how nature is working for them, you know, and they can't believe that simple exercises and meditation that has been here, for example, in Guyana, for almost two centuries now, is contributing to betterment of the world or betterment of society, you know. And the seven bias people feel the benefits. They went to India, they met gurus, chronic disease were cured, transformation, miracles. And they came back home and they told their neighbors, their friends, their families or relatives. So people start pouring down into Asian countries looking for gurus and babas, fakirs and yogis and mystics. And many people, they found their own guru that you never heard about, you never... Um, new existed you know but suddenly somebody appeared on a scene and write a book or the br brought news from after years of training they came home and brought news of wonders and miracles a mystic phenomena you know and so what we do we heard about a great guru like Neem Karoli Baba or the Gori Ram and all these quiet gurus, some of them never came out of India like Swami Sivananda. They say he never left India. Some of them remained there living in little villages, little huts, houses, temples, mass. They lived there quietly, living a comfortable, peaceful life. For them, happiness, their happiness was their spiritual experience, the mystic experience which they say claim that they could travel to different planets, different worlds, invisible worlds, meet beings and entities that were supernatural, superhuman. 
Now the ordinary people do not know about and this kind of life call for a lot of sacrifice a lot of um um you should say endurance patience and perseverance you know and in the everyday life it's good that this yoga day which is on the 24th of june people will do hearty yoga talk about yoga different groups coming together it has a positive impact on people like in the third world people don't know people came from various parts of the world china there are Amerindian people portuguese people africans they don't know about yoga they don't know about meditation they know about the the piranhas and the holy books and the stories and the names of the gods like the ashwini kumars Makardoj, Goraknath, they don't know about all these mystic names, Ganeshwar, and all the um, Buddhas, and the Tantrics, and the Gurus, and the Saints, and the Devatas, they don't know about them. So living this kind of life, I don't know why, but people are freaked off, you know, they kind of, put it frankly, dislike people who are following yoga hinduism you know i personally i've had many um cross reaction from people when they see you in your own happiness your own health your own peace of mind your own um, tranquility you know you're not minding their business you're not getting in the way you're staying by yourself but yet you're happy you can have uh, experience and people kind of don't know why but sometimes yoga students report that they're being attacked they've been harassed victimized at the social level the political level and so on but while we have people all over the world are doing yoga it's great people for the man who invented the Ford cars we have great scientists like open homer when he created the atomic bomb and it went off he compared it to the Mahabharat war he made a quotation a famous quotation there so um people knew about all these um knowledge these esoteric terms in other countries where we have great minds great intellects they just they said the intellect and the intuitive mind are very close to each other so people who are intellectual and so they kind of appreciate spiritual people strong people people who are above normal they can see i tell you spiritual people but most the general population the general mass you know they make it very difficult to live in countries where people are suffering they need peace of mind uh, quiet quietude and prosperity and progress in their environments talking about yoga and the promises of yoga don't um, convince them you know and even when you start to manifest some of the promises that yoga offer the practice of yoga the regular practice of yoga they kind of um some of them would be um okay happy but others feel threatened that you want to overthrow the um, dictatorial regime, their um, social network, their powerful uh, existence. You feel threatened, you know? And maybe that's why, like, gurus like the Anandamar Guru and the Baha'i faith, the master there, he suffered. They suffered a lot of social persecution and problems i say man it's great masters and the teachers come they poor persecuted a lot even the genius the genius of the mundane sciences the inventors the great thinkers and people they suffer a lot from the people who are on the average um mental level you know they can't who cannot see anything beyond or cannot know anything better that exists or any greatness they are kind of um um we should say tickled or um they're kind of aggravated when they see light coming in from another portal that will throw them off of the comfort zone so we appreciate this yoga day 
in that throughout the year your struggle your efforts your um dedication perseverance endurance patience is rewarded with acclamation and people applause and people um give adulations and many nice words and so on to yogis and the yoga way of life to what it couldn't be made a holiday like christmas or like a boxing day or easter or so because they say the yoga science is an ancient science and it's creating very good citizens exceptional people it's helping people to connect with nature with the cosmic power make their minds healthier happier and what more is that as you become an example you can inspire other people too so the um, school scriptures say that those who have become accomplished in yoga they do they take many others with them thousands of other people they pull along and take them with them also i was I remember when i was in brazil a monk from um anandamarg you saw an english monk he's from england he was telling me that when you gain enlightenment six generations up and six generations down they also 